Uh, so it's uh, around the 10.15, 10.30, New Year's Eve, here on the uh, Centennial. <laughs> so it's actually uh, just started, well, it's been sleeting and sprinkling for uh, most of the evening, but it's really just started uh, gusting and blowing quite a bit. The rain's uh, hitting that the uh, plastic that I taped over the screen here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Some coming in there. And, uh, Chugging away. There you go. Get that. Get the uh, hatch closed again. But yeah, that's uh, pretty comfortable in here, though. A little over, uh, a little over 50 degrees. A little over 50 degrees, got the, uh, should just put another log on the stove, so it should be, uh, warming back up again anyway. Stove's chugging away with the, um, the wind gives the stove a really good draft. So, uh, yeah. So when that, uh, when that log catches, it should warm up in here quite a bit more even. But, uh, yeah. So. That's a view up into it. Folks all up there and forward. I got my uh, wood bag getting right down to the end of the uh, getting right down to the end of the firewood. Not a whole lot left in here. Maybe. 
Person. That's a big one. That'll burn for a while right there. That's about it in there. A couple little bits of uh, kindling. That's about it. We'll just have to uh, keep a weather eye out and see what happens with this uh, storm on the high tide. I'm uh, about an hour away from an uh, hour past floating. So the tide's uh, been going out. And the boat was riding uh, pretty well. Uh, as long as she was afloat, you know, just you know, some waves coming in here at the uh, at the landing, but uh, the boat was just riding them well, and it really didn't bounce or bang or slap at all when uh, when it dried out. So it was pretty uh, fairly quiet, just a little bit of uh, you know gurgling on the waves on the laps and. Uh, yeah, now like I say, the tide's about an hour, almost two hours actually, away from the boat, so it's... The water's down probably 30, 40 feet from the boat at this point on the mud flats. But I'll have to keep an eye on it when the, uh... When the tide comes back up. Just to be sure everything floats okay and the anchor doesn't foul or anything as the tide's coming back in. Yeah, okay, so we got the stoves chugging right along now. Yeah, you can feel it heating up already. Heating the pipe and the Cast iron. Got a uh, little heat shield there with a uh, some insulating material. It's almost like a fiberglass between the pipe and then there's a sheet of uh, flashing wrapped around the outer, outside of the uh, insulative material. Some sort of a fiber. Um, and that's uh, held, on, held in place by wires. And that's where the pipe goes through the deck anyway. Got the uh, oil there to start the stove with. See if it will come into focus. There we go. I got the oil can here that I start the stove with. And, uh, a carbon monoxide detector and barometer.
thermometer and all. Still right around 50 in here. It's probably uh, oh, 35, 38 out. I say it was sleeting earlier, but it's just rain at the moment, I'm pretty sure. So, finish feeding the last of the wood into the stove and then, uh, then turn it into the sleeping bag. Stay warm that way. <laughs> Got the uh, plug here that allows you to um, knock the center board down if you've got to. If it's sticking, you can actually uh, smell the marsh come up through there when you pull the plug. That fits. Uh, that fits pretty tight because this isn't this isn't actually below the water line, but uh, when you're sailing at a decent speed, and especially if you're in any sort of waves, then uh, this can become above the water line. So you get uh, this can become below the water line. So you actually get water up through here when uh, when you're when you got a wave passing this section of the boat. Uh, or when you got a fair amount of speed on because this uh, trunk does kind of pile water up at the back of it and it's enough to slop some out through this uh, through this hole uh, so. got a uh, Just a metal tray here under the stove to uh, catch any any ash that may fall out. And then I've also got a screen that I can uh, set across the front of the stove. And just sort of. Hold in place like that. And that, uh. That tends to uh, keep any sparks fairly well contained inside the uh, inside the firebox. Yeah, breezing up out there, I can feel it shaking the uh, shaking the boat a little bit as it, uh, the bigger puffs hit the mast and rigging and all. Got the uh, got the sail lashed down fairly well, so that's not. Oh yeah.